Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to any new viewers, this is a reading for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs, Virgo, it's all about how your person is feeling about you, if there's a specific person of interest you're thinking about, you're wondering what their thoughts are, where this connection is going, um, what they think about you, what they like, what they don't like, please keep on watching get right into it now of course it is a general reading if it doesn't resonate that's okay please feel free to check out your other placements but if you do enjoy the reading don't forget to like subscribe i really really appreciate it, it helps me grow the channel it helps me at the end of the day do more of these readings for you guys wow okay let's pull a few more cards for the main spread here and then get into those messages But I can definitely um, see why you're interested in viewing this reading. Because <laughs> maybe things aren't quite progressing as you would like at the moment. Something has like stalled a little bit. But um, there's definitely some very, very deep energy here, I guess you would say. Let's pull a couple more here. You could be dealing with another Virgo, a Gemini, another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It doesn't necessarily have to be. Okay. All right. So there's certainly this... Um, feeling of making decisions making choices we've got a lot of twos here we've got the two of pentacles we've got the two of wands we've got the two of cups and look at that right below the ten of cups okay yeah there's a lot of um, potential for happiness here there's a lot of potential for future growth um, I think you're both sensing what a deep connection what a what a profound connection this can be um if it's the right time but again we're starting off with the hanged man energy here okay so definitely at the moment i'm feeling like things have taken a little bit of a pause um nothing's really moving forward um you know best case scenario this can be you know you two are together but it just doesn't seem to be progressing. It doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Someone keeps taking their time or making decisions, that kind of thing. Worst case scenario, it can be, you know, no communication for the time being. It doesn't usually signal no communication for me, though, this card. But in any case, that can be a symptom of someone or both people just wanting to take a little bit of a time out and reconsider things gain a different perspective um basically not make any impulsive or rash decisions um but there's also that sense like i said of gaining a different perspective so there could be certain things certain personality differences differences in views about how to you know go about things moving forward um that both parties need to kind of get their head around I suppose figure out how it's going to work how we're going to blend these two things together so it's starting it's that energy of starting to see things from the other person's perspective okay but still keeping an open mind towards that which is nice um very very interesting here how they're viewing you Virgo, they're viewing you as the fool. This is a very enthusiastic, positive energy. Um, they're seeing a lot of energy, a lot of drive, a lot of, um, yeah, just in general positivity for the future. Someone who's willing to take a chance, someone who's willing to lay it all, all, all on the line, to just leap forward when it feels right, when it seems right. Um, and you're very much appearing to be in that kind of frame of mind at the moment at least to this person that's how you're coming across maybe they're the one that wants to be a little bit more considered that wants to think about things a little bit more I'm not sure but they're seeing you as feeling really really optimistic about the future which is nice they like that 
they like that about you. Um, at the same time, they really like the fact that you still maintain this sense of rationality, this logic. You can think things through carefully. Um, you can think about what's fair for each person as well. They're not seeing you as manipulative. They're not seeing you as someone who is trying to hide things from them. They see you as open, honest, truthful, um, logical in your decision-making process, weighing up the pros and cons. They also appreciate the fact that you are considering their point of view in something. They're very, very appreciative of that. They don't want to enter into a connection where something is not fair, is not balanced. Neither do you. So this is this is all good. This is what they really like, what they really enjoy about you and the connection and the potential for the future. We've got them coming across as the magician energy here, okay? So this is a very, very strong energy of manifestation. I think you're dealing with someone who is very capable of you know, achieving what they want to achieve, setting setting goals for themselves, thinking about the future, visualization, putting plans into motion. And I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised by how this kind of eventuates, right? Because like I said, at the moment, there's that energy of let's just wait and see. Let's think a bit more about this. But what I'm actually seeing is that there's a lot of um, manifestation going on and maybe it's behind the scenes. With the Two of Pentacles, this is all, again, themes of balance, sometimes making a choice, but also trying to figure out how to balance two different things. Now, this person may be a little bit concerned about money, about finances, I don't know if there's been any conversation about combining finances or sharing resources or moving in together. Um, if there has been, that's definitely something that is on this person's mind that they're thinking about. Um, they could just be concerned about their own money, their own finances, how they're going to balance everything. I think they're okay. I just think this means that that's something that this person often thinks about, that they're concerned about. And it's also thinking about how this connection is going to work in their lives, how they're going to balance, you know, this potential relationship with everything else that's going on in their lives. I think they're very busy. And so they're thinking very practically about how this is going to work. But ultimately, that's a good thing because they're just not going to leap into something without thinking it through. We've got the six of wands here. Now, there could be a feeling of perhaps, not necessarily, but perhaps other people distracting you, distracting them. Someone's very popular here. I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's them. There's a sense that someone's um, popularity Either they're already very popular or their popularity is on the rise. They're getting more recognition, whether that be in their personal life, at work. Again, this could have to do with something sort of getting in the way of the connection and how much time um, you or they are able to spend um, on this connection, on this relationship. And I only say that because just in this in this particular spread... Normally, this is a very, very good card. It's just coming up as a little bit of a negative. There also could be a little bit of jealousy, like external jealousy, I mean, not necessarily in within the connection or from them or from you. External jealousy, external people talking. Um, sometimes there can be a little bit of sabotage as well, from again, from outside forces. Someone may be a little bit jealous of the connection or someone may be desiring you, someone may be desiring them and they're kind of wishing that they were with this person or they were with you. So that 
that is a little bit of a concern for this person. Interestingly, even if there's something maybe you're not aware of, that's a little bit of a concern for this person. I think um, a step further or moving things up to a higher level is almost inevitable here, right? <laughs> there's that um, hangman energy again. It's almost inevitable here. Because we're making a decision, but with the Two of Cups, um, you know, this can't be any more clear. It's like, this is what we want to take a leap of faith towards. This is what we're manifesting here, okay? We're manifesting happiness. We're thinking about what ultimate happiness means. And it could mean something different for you and something different for them. But we're trying to figure out how we can reconcile that, how we can um, come together in a way that is equal, that is balanced, that's fair, where both people's needs are getting met. And ultimately, how can we achieve this? How can we achieve this beautiful Ten of Cups, which is that future ultimate happiness, fulfillment, Whatever that means. Oops. Now, overall direction moving forward, okay? Love. This is the lover's card. Um, this connection almost feels a little bit fated. Um, it feels like it's a coming together of two people, which maybe was initially a little bit unlikely, okay? When we look at the imagery in this card, we've got this lion here, um, and we've got this, um, you know, woman here as well. So it's the lover's energy, but it's it's almost like beauty and the beast, or, um, and I don't mean to say one of you is a beast or looks like a beast, but... What I'm trying to say is it was that sort of connection which you, before it happened, you know, you may have looked at it like that's that's not going to happen or that's unlikely or other people may not have been expecting it as well. But certainly um, now that, it, so it could be a bit of like opposites attract is what I'm trying to say. Um, this is too deep this is too important um for your life's journey for their life's journey to pass up okay so there is more to come with this connection it's it's going to move to that next level it's going to move to that next phase because it feels right for both of you there's something really drawing um you two together it's like magnets okay all right, I'm going to leave it there. Um, Virgo, beautiful reading. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all again in the next video.